Hi guys, it's Fatima Mosti known as Can Call Me Artist on social media and in today's video I'm sharing a different style of video that I hope you like. I'm sharing a vlog which includes the behind the scenes of my life that I kept very private before. I realized most of the videos I watched that motivated me and brightened up my day were artist vlogs so I'm hoping that my videos can be that for you. If you like this style of video please let me know so I can create more. Since I graduated, I have been working to support myself financially. I was working as a barista and I really loved making coffee, so much that it actually became my new hyperfixation. And sadly, I found myself painting less and less, but in today's video, I'll be sharing moments of life with you where I'm trying to connect to my creativity again. You can watch this video as is or you can listen to it while you're doing your own thing like a podcast while I have a chat with you. It's up to you really. I'm going to share parts of work, art projects that I have been working on that I have now released and more stuff like organizing my room and preparing things to release for my small business that I have on Etsy where I sell prints, stickers and now keychains too which I'm so excited to reveal at the end of the video. This year I started to create an online course to help give insight on my art process from the beginning to the end. I partnered with Class 101 and the classes are finally up so if you would like to join the link will be in my bio. I'm actually going to speak about this project more in the upcoming videos but I wanted to say how this project definitely challenged me so much. I was trying to balance working 3-4 to four days a week at the cafe while producing all the content, editing and adding subtitles all by myself as well as trying to balance out my social life which I failed at. So when I was at work I would try to complete all my tasks for the shop. This cafe was not too busy after a certain time so it was only me serving and after all the tasks were out the way is when I was able to take my laptop to edit all the videos because I was trying my best to keep up with all the deadlines and make use of my time. This was my busiest period. I also had a commission that I had to finish for a friend and I said yes before I knew I was going to be overwhelmed by all of the work I already had on my plate but a deal is a deal so I painted this commission for my friend and we both ended up being so happy about the results of the paintings. Nearing the end of my project, I decided to start buying stuff that I knew I needed for my business and my sister was making angel numbers bone charms so we brought all the materials and she started producing them. I really wanted to help my younger sister out so I put them on my shop and I'm trying to promote it so if you guys would like to support her you can find them on my Etsy shop and yeah. I also finally invested in getting a mic for the videos for my classes but now I can actually use them for my other social media. I bought the Fifi mic and it's great, it's very cheap and like very beginner friendly um, and I'm actually currently using it, like what do you think of the sound quality if you like it? <laughs> By the way, some clips may vary in quality as I'm still experimenting with what camera looks best to film with. For the class that I was making, I also had to invest a lot of money in a laptop. I borrowed money off of my parents, which I don't usually like to do but it was very necessary to have a lot of storage for the production of my classes. And I'm not going to lie, I would not have gone anywhere with this project otherwise. It was so expensive and it took me so long to pay back my parents, but I finally paid them back 
and I decided to get the 16 inch because it was mainly to edit um, videos so I really wanted the bigger screen that allowed me to view more. I also needed it in one terabyte specifically as it needed to be able to import all the videos I have filmed on my camera which were really big files. As I got closer to finishing the classes, I ordered more stuff for my Etsy shop like ink cartridges, I also ran out of my sticker paper and I needed to create more sticker packs. Um, I ordered my sticker paper from online labels, I think that's what the website is called. I've tried most of the finishes that they give and I found that glossy works the best for me and produces the most like vivid image that kind of reflects my painting, um, whereas I found that like the matte paper dulled down my paintings a little bit and didn't give like an accurate print so if you guys want to invest in like sticker paper it's a very good price and for the quality you get and the amount of papers you get also look at the new pack that i made of the series it's so pretty Today I'm using this paint palette as it's able to contain my different colours in a more organised manner. Today Today I'm using this paint palette as it's able to contain my different colours in a more organised manner. It helps me mix more of the colours that I need and also keep them separated. Looking back at this video, there is a lot to recap and to show and it is a bit compressed in a short video but I promise you the next vlog will be more chill and less hectic. For the last year, I struggled so much to live my life with intention and for me, an organised space means a more organised mind. I actually went into this topic more at university and I really resonated with it. Since COVID restrictions were lifted, I found it very difficult to adjust to the outside world again. Slowly things started becoming unorganised, my closet grew and it just overall became so messy and I was lucky so embarrassed to share this part of my life with you but I wanted to be realistic and transparent about my surroundings and how I'm trying to better my mental health and life by keeping it organised. My aim was to know where everything was and to buy stuff that made my life that tiny bit more convenient. So in this vlog, I buy a lot of stuff for that. I organized my shelves and jewelry as well as tried to make my space cuter with new bedding to make it more motivating and inspiring to work around. I brought these crates from Primark at a discounted price but to be honest they're not the best quality as they low-key collapse every time I, like, I pick them up so I recommend you find better quality ones that actually will help in the long run. I didn't know what colour to get for my bedding so I just chose to get the grid style as the black and white went really well with the variety of colours that I had in my room. At this point of time, I already finished my classes and I was very inspired to DIY 
um, my laptop sleeve so I used fabric paint to paint on this cute character the fabric paint was very cheap and it actually took so long to build up the white layers I did around six or more coats just to get an opaque like coverage it was fun but it Loki kind of ended up being a waste of time as this was for my 13 inch laptop and the one for my 16 inch laptop finally arrived so I'll probably be using that more than this one but it's still cute I'll use it from time to time. This is how much bigger the case is. I brought it along with other cute stuff. I got a lot of miscellaneous stuff like phone case since my phone case was turning yellow. I got an airpod case. I also brought a lot of stuff for my Etsy orders like stickers to give as freebies as well as other stuff to help make my packaging look cuter. This jewelry organizer really helps sort out my jewelry and now I find it so much easier to grab what I want and also to put back my jewelry without losing them favorite patches though are these iron on patches they're so so cute and i actually ended up gluing them on my laptop like stickers to create like different textures on my laptop and i think it turned out very cool i actually really wanted to create this series so i could turn them into keychains and I finally ordered them and they arrived and I'm so happy with how detailed and pretty they turned out. I only brought a limited stock so go grab yourself one before they run out and if they run out I might order more stock but for now the stock is very limited. This is just a sneak peek of the charms. In the next video I'm going to show you how I take photos for um, product photos for my Etsy as well as how I package them which the packaging turned out so cute as well I need to stop calling everything cute but I'm just so proud I'm sorry <laughs> today we saw a little behind the scenes of my life in the next video I'm going to bring you another art filled video so I'll see you soon bye